day. From boy no the pay. Hi guys, this is your girl Stephanie Rana. You're watching Misty TV. I'm a show for you now. Kwa wa edoba a Misty TV. Once you do a video via yen, me trust is yano more back to back information. But then the information, you more back to back one on one interview on a Misty TV studio. What I say, one of the gentlemen, one of the CEO, one of the PRO and Kasabi be pimo me chain. It was studio ha. Now me the minimum need in the BP. Oh, we see you in change. What I say, you didn't edit JJ coffee. What I say, Mammy Chamber, you buy it into that and I had the interview in Casa, a bitch show. So, the Marshall Voy in our cover, Edoba Amici TV Studios. What I say, the Yammy introduction in the show now, one of the gentle boy, the CEO, and I said the PR. <laughs> Casa et me chan. Me ni zibi wase 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 zibi the face you are the just for the face yes yeah, i'm just the face and then i happen to do the administrative work and so for the award scheme exactly so <laughs> let's let, let, let's 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 get to the business uh let's see how how was the journey so far on 2023 after before our first interview on this channel so how how was the journey hmm, well i would say that it hasn't been easy nothing has been rosy it's been hustling 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 we've been out on the streets yeah yeah streets <laughs> yeah yeah that was streets okay so yeah it's not been easy i've had after the interview i've had quite a number of nominations and i've declined some i accepted some, some. yes okay. but unfortunately i didn't really put my energy into it uh, yes i didn't really vote promote hype and all that so i didn't really win or get it but at least that nomination is a plus, a plus for you exactly okay because I believe that right now my brand has gotten to a level that I have to filter certain awards because right now even though I would say I'm also in that kind of business even though I'm not the CEO but don't worry you get to find out who the CEO is okay. I just want to keep it anonymous okay. and just a few are genuine a few are not which I believe you know yes you know you've experienced it some. before it yes some. some just a few okay but um to be honest 2022 till now has been good when i and my team we decided to start this particular award scheme it was not easy okay. and it has not been easy but god being so good we are getting there okay. yes we're getting there okay so we've had i've had quite a couple of people on the team who we started with who left at the point and some who had fights with me and some of the organizers in the team and there is a whole lot of story that will tell for another i will tell it another, another day. day yes but i would say it's just been god it's been god because to be honest with you right now i've increased my prayer life before my prayer life when, was like 40 percent are, are you a fearing man <laughs> is that what? are you a fearing man if you say you are increasing are you a fearing man? i no i i wouldn't say i'm really really alfarian member but sometimes i join them you join up. yes but okay. for me personally i don't believe that you'd have to join a alpha hour or something i'm not trying to discredit alpha That's hour well. but i don't believe that you have to you should learn to work your salvation yourself that's what i believe okay. you should learn to work your salvation yourself you should learn to teach yourself how to pray do you understand yeah. i so over the years i've taught myself how to pray and also based on my foundation my upbringing the background i'm coming from we are very strong christians we are staunch christian my father is an elder and a pastor in the church my mom is a dickness as well so we have taught ourselves at how to pray as at age 9 10 no age 11 years 9 10 to 11 years 
I was preaching at our morning devotions. Morning devotions. Yes, I was sharing messages, reading the Bible, and all that. Even at that point, sometimes I knew that what I I was saying wasn't really, really. I didn't really know what I was saying. But at a point when I make certain mistakes or when I misquote certain things, my dad would correct me. Do you understand? I had people who were leading me all the way. So that so far has really so saying am I an Alfarian? Yes and no. I sometimes join them, which I love. Um the twelve o'clock. Yes, what's his name? Reverend Elvis. Elvis. Is it Elvis Ajman? Ajman. Yes, Reverend Elvis Ajman. I love the man so much, especially his preaching. But not drifting from the interview. This is not about Reverend Elvis Ajman. This is about um, just question. Exactly. So I'm not an Alfarian though because I'm a Lighthouse member. I'm a lightish. Oh, okay. So we also have our 12 midnight, our flow prayers. We call it flow prayers. I join that a lot. So I join the flow oh, prayers okay. a lot. And sometimes I teach myself also how to pray. I wake up at 12. Sometimes I can stay awake till like 3 a.m., 4 a.m. just praying. So that's just me. That's my life. Okay. Yeah. And so far, let's, after 2023 to 20, 2022 to 2023, mm -hmm. Jenny. So let's see, this your award scheme. The young... Africa Young Talent Africa Young Talent, Talent Achievement, Achievement Award Achievement Award Okay yes. How how was the name came through Africa Young Talent Achievement Award How the name came through How how was the organizing and everything How did you find them or how did you meet the you said you are not the face you are just the face mm. you are not the CEO yes. So how did you meet the organizers to put this agenda forward <laughs> Okay okay so um hmm should i tell it you can just say okay so to be honest to be honest i have a share in this award in i this have award. a greater share in the okay. hours okay let me be truthful i don't want to lie to people i know sometimes you don't have to put your business out there because looking at just a small boy we starting but let me be truthful yes it's mine you are the ceo <laughs> of the award scheme i know I'm, confession confession <laughs> to me I've, I've done a lot of research about this award yes before yes. i'm calling you for this interview so if i'm saying something i know i'm going to you know what you're saying i know what i'm saying <laughs> yes uh, yes yes i i am the ceo yes okay so uh how, how did you get the name of first time as a ceo how did you get the name african young entertainment africa young talent, talent achievement, achievement award. award you can just say ayota ayota mm. oh it's just it's nice yeah, you can African just say ayota how oh, me i'm a friend <laughs> member so i like <laughs> yes yeah, so i just... don't joke i don't joke with my 12 o'clock play oh yes yes, yes so. it's true yes so so coming up with the name i have a group of creative friends okay. which myself i'm very creative as for the 100 percent, i'm going to give it to you i'm not going to hold it in my pocket i give it to you 100 percent. <laughs> yes i'm i'm very creative it's just i've not really had time to, to for people to see what i can do do you understand yes. because i believe in helping other people grow i've sacrificed myself more in the industry by serving rather than focusing on myself do you understand i rather want to help and see people grow and achieve their dreams than Do me so i've had people who have issues with me and you're creative and you are this and you are experienced and you are this no i'm still learning it's a learning process for me and all those stuff people tell me people try to discourage me and everything to be very honest with you i have a group of creative friends and i came up with a lot of names which i don't even remember that day i was at work at the office and i was watching oscars the oscar award and uh, this lady was her name i've forgotten her name but Benna boy's mother was it oscar or grammy i don't remember one award like that i don't really remember the name Benna boy's mother when Benna boy won the award that was grammy it was Grammy, yes, and his mother came to take it on his on behalf. Her. And she gave that iconic speech about African, saying, No matter what, no matter your color, no matter um your country, your race, if I'm if I'm I stand to be corrected, Bernard Boyd would always want us to remember that we are Africans. And I, I was like, this could come up with something. So I wrote a long list of about 10 or 15 events. Yes 
events events like events <laughs> i wanted to do and i always write i have like like 400 events and tv shows i want to do which some i want to sell them i just want to build the content and sell to present to them that's a little people it's it's good. Good. yes so i wrote a lot of names a lot i can't even remember i even i think i even lost it and then i have this group of creative friends uh, even though one person something happened at a point so we're not really 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 close like that again so i first of all i sent to my manager and he was like i think i went to ghana something something awards ghana something 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 awards africa something something awards africa something something and yeah so this one was initially it was africa young talent and achievers award. award so there was and in between the at uh, achievers uh, something like, yeah there was an in between so i sent to them i sent to my manager johnson i sent to um a friend um he's called dasebre i sent to him i sent it to another friend of mine who is called william so i sent to these three people yes and these three people said no all these names they have written no let's do the africa young talent achieve because that was that was what i wanted to pick so i was like okay so if these people pick this it would then confirm that it's god it's that god. is directing them do you understand so my manager picked it um that's a bread picked it and what's his name johnson. william williams william also picked it. my manager is johnson william also picked it and then they were like i should take the hand off so i took the hand immediately i got to the house my graphing my graphic designer who also happens to be part of my team. my team as well and uh, he's also very good like he's creative you guys let me, before i continue let me just give that that dude a shout out even sometimes even though sometimes he's annoying let me just give him a shout out el cristo el crystal creations thank you for always supporting me like the guy is good i just came home i was actually on phone with william and dasebre when i was closing from work and i just entered and i was like charlie el crystal i call him kedem in the house i was like charlie kedem i've come up with this event da, 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 da. so please come up with something nice a logo I went inside change I came back within a split of 10 to 15 20 minutes this guy had designed the logo and designed the plaque the plaque I was like dude why what's up so I was like okay you know what I'm not going to make decisions for you to tell you on how to brand the whole thing let me just leave the branding and everything to you because I believe in your work to be honest with you I don't have a say in the in the graphic designing the color selection the branding on it he chose the color and unfortunately he's the only graphic designer that is color blind onim colors like he doesn't know colors but he knows how to put colors, colors together. together but he if this for example this is blue or is this blue it look like blue not blue. i'm partially color blind as well so <laughs> but let's say for example this i think it's somehow green blue whatever but let's just say this is blue let's just put it that this is blue this one don't see maybe see me who can confirm the color <laughs> for me so no that color. okay let me use your shirt for example okay. let's just say this this is pink right yes. peach that's what i want and yes, pink and white is, yes this is let's say pink peach whatever however you see it take it like that he will tell you this is orange but you are seeing is pink do you understand but i just decided to give it to him to do everything everything from so the only thing i i check is spelling mistakes, mistakes. that's the only thing i check or maybe he didn't add date time or so you know funny enough eh, i i don't ask him to do anything like direct him or do this do it this way do it that way no i leave it to him and then i only check for mistakes to brand everything to exactly brand to and everything. complete it so he brands everything from logo creation to color combination to arrangement i just oh the only thing i do is i send him write up and pictures that's all that's all i leave the rest to him to him 
to exactly. do everything to do everything so that that guy el crystal creation is been extraordinarily supportive, supportive even though person. sometimes he's annoying annoyed like or sometimes i feel say or share that he sometimes intentionally wants to drag my feet and pull his that kind of feet dragging stuff but he's good he's been very supportive okay so let's let's get to the uh the conversation or let's get to the business today mm -hmm. so after you drop the nomination everything out how was it how the nomination firing has gone so far is it easy for people to fire or yes yes it was very easy for people to file for nomination because <laughs> <laughs> it was very easy like when i say when i remember this i laugh because i got scared at a point you know why i got scared you know from the beginning i told you that i wanted to just give up give up exactly but after a while after i said that prayer and i got scared like when I saw the num the nominations trooping in, I screamed. Just just like only Ghanaian people all over. All over. South Africa, Nigeria, Kenya, Zimbabwe. I can't even remember some Sierra Leone. I can't even remember. I was like, God, geez. I screamed like and that day I didn't go to work. I was in the house. My people were like, ah, what is it? You have come with this, you're screaming to because I'm that type that I get anxious when I see things working for me for uh, in a good, good way. Good way. Yes, in a positive way. I get anxious. That's just me. I get really anxious. So I was so anxious. I screamed. Ah, what is it? And I told them, "Come and see." So I showed them a little over three to four hundred nominees. Nominees are falling. I'm telling you, all over the uh, African country. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. But what we do, we cross check, we go on your social media, we check your works and everything, and we decline. We accept some, we decline some. So we in total we accepted almost two hundred nominees. Nominees. Okay. Two hundred. Almost two hundred. Two hundred. So how many plug are you giving out uh on that night? We have a little over forty categories. Forty. So we should be giving approximately between 45 to 50 or more more it's not a small award though mm -hmm. for one night and so how, how okay let's move to once it's african we move to africa we move to ghana mm -hmm. so how is the african people also getting easy to vote is it easy for them to vote or they are also finding very difficult way okay so yeah that's a good question because initially when voting started um especially the nigerians they were complaining a lot i got scared they were complaining a lot and everything so me i get scared easily that's just me i'm a very emotional person you know something small i'll cry i know people say men are not supposed to cry but for me i don't waste time uh, crying is how i express my emotions emotion. that's that's how yes. i am yes so i got scared i stayed complaining to the it department to our voting platform guy um campaign life i was complaining to them i became a woman like a pregnant woman i was literally nagging and they told me calm down we understand you're scared then they now took to me calm down they took their time to explain to me that it's not from them from them it's from the nigerians because they were changing their currency at that time i didn't even know that nigerians were changing their currency do you understand yeah. and then due to the election stuff stuff they they cancelled all online transactions because international nominees can only vote online via a link that will be sent to you yeah. or you go to the portal the platform and go and vote so ah, i got scared i was like what is going on so after they explained it to me and i tried i checked myself and i tried and then i started doing my research because i like to research a lot so doing my research they're asking questions you know i have because i'm part nigerian i have friends and families who are still there i have started making calls on making contacts was calling to find out how things are over there and they were telling me it's true you can't send money you can't receive money 
Nah, okay. Okay. So I came down. But the Nigerians really wanted to vote. But even some of them still found ways and means of voting. Voting. Yes. And so it was easy for them. It, it's easy. Easy. Honestly, for them. totally it's easy. easy. Friends, so easy. apart from Nigerian, we have you find a very difficult challenge for them. How about other African countries also? Oh, we had Uganda who also found people from Uganda who also find a bit of difficulty, but it was resolved. And that was when the, the difficulty was when the website and the voting portal was being updated. Can, uh, update. Yes, because is the website and the voting portal is linked, okay. so it was being updated. And then mm, that was the only time I would say they really, really had a problem. And you know, it was set in such a way that after every thirty days, the portal closes. Closes. Yes. So after thirty days, when it closes, you find it difficult in voting until we reactivate. So we don't wait for thirty days. We re activate before the 30 days exactly okay so that's how but it, everything has been smooth it's been going well they've been they've been voted okay so right now the voting will end when so voting officially ends in initially it was supposed to end last week yes but we had serious issue with our website it was nearly hard nearly hard so right now you have yes, we, we've resolved it okay. so we had to based on that we had to resolve it and then we had to extend for mercy's sake we had to extend okay. voting to um 16th of april 16th that's next week not this not easter sunday the sunday after okay. easter next week yes, sunday. next week sunday 16th april at 11 59 exactly vote is yes end. and the reason why you also push the dates the voting end dates to that time was because um how do you call it what's the name was because we're also finding difficult getting venue initially this event was supposed to be held at either best western premier hotel or fiesta royale hotel yes exactly but they were not giving us any positive because we're looking at for sponsorship you understand but they were not giving us any positive, positive response results. and everything they kept on dragging their feet you know Ghanaians now we'll get back to you we'll get back to you they feel because it's your main in addition and they feel they don't really believe in to end you know because our word schemes have become too much, much and people are not being very honest and genuine so a lot of brands and a lot of companies are finding it difficult to, to attach themselves to things like this until they say okay we've done the first time we've done the second time we've done the third time then they can now start attaching but by then if i do first second third prices will change you understand yeah. packages will change, change. Yeah. so if you want to come aboard as a sponsor that means you need to brand yourself or exactly or increase your brand exactly so that's how difficult that it was for us until i think last week or last two weeks we uh a friend of mine he's also part of the team nana kojo uh, the ceo of kojo creations and he finally suggested a few things and he got me in connection with the national commission of culture ghana tourism authority and then ministry of tourism creative arts and culture so these people asked me to go to the national theater made a few contacts and then yeah so it was but it was not on sponsorship okay so you are going to do it on national theater on national theater yes. okay and so when so it's going to be on friday 21st april 2023 red carpet starts at 6 p.m main event starts at 7 p.m, 7 PM. we're trying very much our possible our very possible best to start on time and to close on time because me i'm a church person so and th that saturday to a very good friend of mine is having a wedding Okay. and i have to go and support and you know i sing as well i know yes yeah, so i have to go and sing okay i do so i a duty calls you need to move mm -hmm. out early. exactly so i need to rest my team members need to rest and then we move out and then the sunday to church monday we have a meeting and we plan for my show okay your new show 
and so uh after the voting in and uh, right now you have the place you are going to do awards mm -hmm. so how how was it uh, those people a uh, diaspora people who also be part of the voting and those people who think they are going to win how are they going to also to you receive have, their awards okay yeah you you have to think you're going to win though Mm -hmm. or maybe if maybe if i'm da a diaspora maybe mm -hmm. maybe definitely if i'm a diaspora maybe they let me speak for my, my yeah. girlfriend country mm -hmm. i maybe a uh, certain people need to vote a win mm -hmm. and wanted to come to ghana based on your award scheme mm -hmm. how that person need to come how is it going to find difficult or you are going to give him accommodation or where okay. he's going to sleep for come to receive his award okay good question so you're not going to find it difficult because we have a little over two to three or more hotels we have sent available oh. yes available we sent a letter to home over 15 to 20 hotels but just i think two or three out of those these numbers responded so yeah they give it not on sponsorship level though but looking at the brand and some of them have been monitoring our socials for some time now sorry and yes so yes it's going to be on discount level so you're going to get accommodation and it's going to be on discount level so this has been discounted for us okay yes but just that fortunately this being our main in addition even though we have partnered with other events games to organize and plan and everything but this is like our um, personal made in addition. addition exactly so most of the diasporans say they would foot their bills for accommodation they would do everything for themselves exactly they just need to come and experience talk about it and god being so good fortunately for us god being so good the brand and the name has gone international yeah we have an entire national media house and media television from uganda that is coming to take coverage on that day okay from uganda they are coming to take coverage and it's going to be live on their tv tv station on uganda yes okay so how how, how about our people how there was connection are they going to pay for they are taking care of everything everything it's just god i cried when i heard the news that day when i got the the message i i was like I was a bit skeptical or oh, accommodation all those stress and you know now I have to go and pick them from the airport and I'm going to there yes picking them from the airport I know is my priority accepting them and all but accommodation booking all those and they told me oh don't worry we're taking care of our flight accommodation feeding everything we are just coming to take coverage they were like thank you for recognizing um people from uganda that's all things yes and the thing is fortunately um we we have a very good relationship it's not so deep but it's a good relationship with one of the one big man from uganda he's called big sam i really want to say thank you very much so big sam actually pitched the event to them do you understand and then oh, because big sam is an honorary he'll be receiving an award on okay. that night yes because we're honoring him on that night because the man is doing so much work for the african community from philanthropic hum humanitarian job works to media works to political works like he's all round it's okay. all round. and he's quite known in ghana here as well he's a Ghanaian or he's a he's a ugandan Uganda. he's from uganda but he's very well known in ghana, ghana here. here and he's left he he has helped a lot of talents and musicians and big people um how to expand and explore in uganda, uganda expand their brand and make their brand reach the ugandan, ugandan community. communities exactly okay, that was good so right now if somebody wants the ticket mm. how the person is going to get ticket or how the person is going to get involved oh so if you also we are calling on more media partners more bloggers more just come come take coverage come use the event create content for yourself and a whole lot just come just come we need you guys to come and help us promote this event as well so if you're an influencer you are 
a social media content creator, your media house, a blogger, or whatever aspect of entertainment or showbiz you do, just come and you're gonna get a pass. Don't worry about it. Also, if you want to get tickets, tickets are going for 40 CD standard that comes with a package and 80 CDs VIP that also comes with a package. And yes, you can call the number on or call or WhatsApp the number on 055-9021-227. Or if you're outside Ghana, you're in the diaspora, you can just add our country code plus two three three so i'm going to take the number again zero five five nine zero two one two two seven so when you contact mr kofi will be handling it so just tell you want to get a ticket or you want to come on board as a media partner as an influencer whatever showbiz aspect of showbiz you are in you're gonna get just yeah come okay it is so that's how people can get tickets also as well mm -hmm. so right now i'm gonna hear which uh, which people or media people personalities are they going to expect over there that night hmm. should i say you can see. i know i i posted on how do you call it on instagram on our instagram story or facebook story one of our social media platforms the story and i was like we celebrated would you want to meet on that night and people gave out names people give out names some came to pass some didn't come to pass some we understand based on their busy schedule so they said they can't make it they would love to some declined gracefully declined they were like mm -hmm we're sorry we're not interested some to having to respond it but god being so good we have akumama mazimbi the mama himself the 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 mother of all mothers okay do you understand we have akumama mazimbi we have um honorable honorable john dumelo okay oh yes. number one yes we have honorable john dumelo we have um doctor or Henny Yuri Gifty Auntie. Okay. We have um we are expecting, but it's not fully confirmed, episode music. Okay. Ep expecting we're also expecting Miss V as well. And you know Miss V has done tremendously well in the oh, industry. Yeah. And we are also expecting Pusha. Pusha. Pusha, oh, Pusha, Ajitia, Anand. So these celebrities are the people. You have mentioned, so you didn't mention my godfather's name. The job my godfather is doing in this country, mm -hmm. you haven't mentioned my godfather is coming. What am I, the president <laughs> of YouTuber? I, I told you this off. Uh, I forgot. I'm sorry. We are expecting what the Maya. Oh, how can I boss? So for DM her? Please, you need to try and DM me once there. Uh, we have sent him an coming. email. We have sent him an email, and we, he hasn't responded. We have sent him a DM on Instagram. He hasn't responded. But we will also send him a WhatsApp after, message after this show. I will give you his personal number. Then you call. Thank you. When you call, he will respond. If he, if you couldn't respond, mystery will respond. Thank you. So, my godfather needs to come because once the diaspora are coming, a lot of people are watching this video. They need to come and see my godfather. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So, after this award, mm -hmm. what is next again? So, after these awards, you know, I, one prayer I made to myself last year. Um, so, I'm almost 30. I'm three to thirty, if you understand that. Okay. Yes. So people know my age now. <laughs> yeah, people know your age. Right yes. So I'm three to thirty, and um, I mean I'm two to thirty. <laughs> yeah, two to thirty. I'm oh, two to 30. interesting. Oh, nice. Yes, I'm, I'm three to thirty. Okay, me I'm two. So um, I made my I made a prayer to God last year that I don't want anything it's just two things i want getting close to him getting to know him more working my salvation out well and then the best birthday gift ever i can give myself is launching my projects and putting my my projects out there okay so launching my 
events and my TV shows and then opening my media production, production company. company. And so after this award, that's, that's, so that's the, the best gift I can give myself okay. on my birthday. And this year, I also said a prayer that the best gift, I, that's after we did nomination, the best gift I can give myself is having this event before my birthday. Okay. So after this, this is a project you are going to hear. You are going to launch your community of the media team. Exactly. And your new project coming on radio and TV. Exactly. Also are coming. Yes. On. Exactly. So I have a TV show in my name. I have three TV shows. One in my name is going to be back to back. God, I'm just praying that I get committed team and people, and I don't want. To go. So please, I, I'm out there. I'm, I'm going to put it out there. So monitor our social media handles. We'll be calling for intense. Intense intense for editors graphic designers producers production managers stylists costumers um so we're going to from this year we'll start shooting our short films so we're already working on the storyline the script and everything okay. and they are musical movies so if you have a studio you have um, you have, um, how do you call it? You have a studio, you're a music producer, you want to be a part of this project. Just go on Supreme Innovations Live Media Instagram page. You can send us a DM or an email as well. And be part. And be part of it. So we're going to be shooting our short films. We're going to be having our fashion shows. We're going to be having our beauty pageant. pageant. We're going to be having our festival. So we're going to be having our music and film, music art and film festival okay so this year is a full of package it's is events events back to back. back to back to back to back back to back and cool. then my tv shows as well also so i'm just i have a lot of tv shows i just want to host two okay if, two cries even too much one the one in my name then the rest i find people to host it, host it. so for me i believe it's all about making people stars and people putting people out out there, there. Do you understand? Okay. Yes. As long as you're interested, you have the passion, you believe in what you can do. You need even, to call. Even if you have the passion and you're not good, just come. We're going to groom you. We're going to train you. You're going to be a master of it. Okay. But when you started the show, you didn't mention your correct name. I want to mention your correct name. Then we end the show. My what? Your correct name. They name everybody know. <laughs> the jj coffee <laughs> the english name <laughs> okay 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 so my biological name yes and yes my my birth name so is joshua kofi agbenya jr i want to add the kekele i always want to find ways to squeeze the it's kekele okay. kekele is too big do you understand but you know what kekele means right i don't know kekele means bright oh. or a star that's a big name like kekele yes. Yes, it means bright. Okay. Or, or a star. Okay, your social media handle. If somebody wants to call you, contact you, get in touch with you. Okay, so my social media handle, my personal social media handle is JJ Kofi. Once you type J A Y J A Y K O F I, you're going to find me all over social Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, uh, YouTube. Twitter youtube i'm changing the name the because name of the, 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 okay. the show initially it was jj kofi tv but i want to change it because of my show the so show. i am st I still haven't finalized Finalize on it, it yet because we're still growing the youtube channel okay we want to monetize before we start okay yes it's after you set this award business down what is the biggest challenge you are facing in this award scheme money 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 is it coming or <laughs> finding difficult to push we are not getting it. money money yes we are not getting money to push into it that's all money committed team members because we just have about five or six people seven people on the team and technically only four out of those seven or eight people and uh, we're close to 10 only four out of those people yeah are working right now they are currently working mm -hmm. but the 10 people who started everybody a lot of people have left so departed different parts it's a part of the job you need to understand people are working you need to understand i i understand and i don't have a problem with them i wish them understand. all the best 
you need to, I, I i like the way you used to uh, encourage people i like the way you used to put people a uh, a face or a smile of people yeah. and i really appreciate your work thank you thank you for coming <laughs> Thank you for thank having you for me. Okay. Thank you for having your me. last words to your fans who are watching you. Yes. So before I say my last word, please go on all our social media platforms to get any information at all you want at AYT Achievers Awards on Facebook. AYT underscore Achievers Awards. Sorry. On Instagram. And then IOTA AYO TAA global underscore on twitter and tiktok so go on all our social media platforms send us a dm send us an email whatever and we're going to respond tickets are also selling you can get the tickets before the event or on the day of the event so just come let's have fun there's going to be a number of performances there's going to be uh, a lot of things to do like there's going to be a lot of activities it's going to be a night of glitz and glam please and also look very expensive and rich because it's an expensive program <laughs> i know look classy like look yes. classy expensive sexy. And, and no no sexy people start showing breasts and oh it's, it's <laughs> part of it's part of <laughs> well look your best look your best just come let's have fun let's enjoy and get come and know the company well the company behind this and then the brains behind this event and other projects that are coming so expect more uh, stuffs from Stuff. us so from short films to stage drama to um tv shows to content to even to artist management and brand management to music concerts to everything just expect more expect more okay expect. so i would like to say a very big thank you to the people who has made um africa young talent achievers awards a success from the beginning till now and to the end of it i would really like to say a very big thank you to belakwa Blokem group of group of companies so that's belakwa and bell beverages i'd like to say a very big thank you to Kojo Creations to Campaign Life to Bumble Jet Media to Innovations Model Management to Nitro Security Company to Pepper Stone Model um, Ushering Agency sorry and to Mr. Quams Makeup Artistry these people have made it a success and to the media partners and partner blogs as well I'd like to say a very big thank you to CJTV Kantanka TV, Lifestyle TV, African Entertainment Bloggers, Acoustic, Ugidi, Get Info, to Carles, to Elijah, to G GK Blogs, to Opening the Blogger, to Unique Trends, to Bla Apostle, to Castino, to AOB Multimedia, and then to my main supporter, El Cristo Creations. So he has been behind all the graphics, the graphics, all the content you see on social media, from artworks to graphics to animations to everything. I'd like to say a very big thank you to El Cristo Creations. And this event is powered by Supreme Innovations Live Media. Thank you to everyone and to, to NIS Cake. Hey God, how can I forget this woman? To Seth's Local Bar how can i forget these people like really i like to say thanks mom thank you then uh, yes thank, uh -huh. th yes thank you, you for for yeah oh, yeah you're i done. don't even know why i'm talking again <laughs> thank you guys for having me and i love you and please keep watching amnesty tv and go on all social media platforms follow him on amnesty tv on facebook instagram twitter TikTok, Snapchat, everywhere, Amnesty TV. And don't forget to subscribe. Click that subscription. I don't ban so. Click that subscription button. Yes. And turn on post notification to get all his content and everything. And please don't forget to like, comment, and share. Please don't forget to like, comment, and share. share. Yes. Go watch his content. He's a great guy. He's a great Thank guy. you. Thank you for that.
and then <laughs> you should forgive. I'm, so I'm not going to talk. <laughs> the only thing I'm going to say, please, I need your support. Come and support my brother, man. You have done a massive job. Mm-hmm. One person putting a war skin down, my brother. Mm-hmm. Somebody have done some. By this time, you haven't finished. <laughs> Since last year, I don't want to mention. I'm not fat. Somebody I'm have done some since last year. We have I'm not fat. But today, somebody done some just two months. They are going to do award. <laughs> they have shown award. They have shown the plug out. My brother, wait a minute. I say thank you. Bye bye.